On this 2008 Honda Civic, we're going to review and install a Curt T connector vehicle wiring harness with a four pole flat trailer connector, part number C56051. With this part number, these are the parts you receive. Of course, this is a whole wire harness right here. This is our four pole flat connector with the cap. Our long length of four pole wire goes to our converter box right here. It has a couple of T connectors, this green wire. T connector goes to the passenger side. The T connector with the yellow wire goes to the driver's side. Also, on the driver's side, the T connector will pick up the brake signal and the running light signal with this T connector here. Ring terminal on the white wire to go to ground from the sheet metal on the vehicle. How this works is pretty simple. It basically takes the signals from the taillights, goes into a converter box here. You've got five wires going in combines the brake signal with the left and right turn signal and goes out to your trailer. Some small parts, there's an adhesive, part of our surface mount technology that holds it in place. Also some zip ties to help hold the wires and a self-tapping screw for your ground wire. Now a wire harness is rated for three amps per circuit for stop and turn signals, which is equivalent to two tail lights on the back of your trailer. One for, one for with turn signal and brakes on each side and then a taillight circuit itself is rated for five amps, which is good for the two running lights that are built into the taillights and also a couple of running lights on the side of your trailer. All right, let's go ahead and install it into our vehicle. All our parts install inside the trunk area. Let's go ahead and open up the trunk and get access to the wires that are behind the taillights. We need to raise up the floor covering to make it a little easier to remove the threshold and the side panels. I'm just gonna use a simple uh, strap, piece of string or anything can be used just to help hold this up and out of the way for us. To remove the threshold, we apply steady pressure from the bottom and pull straight up. Next, we need to loosen up the liner here. There'll be three fasteners we have to remove. They'll be all plastic. We'll use a flat blade screwdriver on the center to loosen them up. We'll loosen up the centers and pull out the whole rivet. Now we have complete access to our wiring connections right here. We'll go ahead and repeat the same process over on the passenger side. Now our vehicle is ready to install our wire harness. We'll go ahead and do one circuit at a time. Remember our T connector for the yellow wire is our left turn signal. If we actually turn it on and it'll be easy to identify when you see it glow. Right, to disassemble it, we just push down this little tab right here and pull it apart. So we'll take our T connector, take the matching into it, push it together until it snaps or clicks. Our other end will go right into the tail light. We'll do the same trick by turning on the running lights and that shows us our connection point will be right here. The little button's kind of on the outside. Next connection we'll work with will be our white wire with the ring terminal. There's actually a factory ground by the threshold that we can use. We'll pull back the white wire just, and we'll attach it to the stud right here. We'll need a 10 millimeter socket. Now let's go ahead and go over to our passenger side. We'll go ahead and install our T connector here. It's gonna be in the same place as before. We'll go ahead and find a location attacher module. We'll go ahead and clean off some sheet metal and our converter box with some rubbing alcohol and water mix, 50-50. Take our adhesive, put it to our converter box. Now we'll take a few moments to zip tie our wires up. We 
With everything hooked up and secure, we'll go ahead and put our panels back into place. Then we'll reinstall the plastic fasteners. We can go ahead and put our threshold back into place. Make sure this guide goes into a hole at the, on the inside. Line it up, push it into place. Make sure the seal goes over the top of it and we'll be about finished. We can put a four covering back into place. When our wire harness has not been used, we'll keep it with the spare tire. When we do need to use it, we'll simply pull it out. We'll bring it over to the threshold, and our door seal is plenty thick where it won't hurt anything when we shut the hatch on it. We have more than enough to go down to our trailer hitch. So we'll just put it, just for testing purposes, we'll go ahead and just leave it here for now. And we'll go ahead and use our tester. All right, we'll go ahead and try our running light circuit first. All right, now we'll try our left turn signal. And now a right turn signal. All right, and then we'll go ahead and hit brake pedal. Looks like everything's working. Now the tester we're using for this is actually part number F5CT from Brophy. Okay, and with that, that'll finish it for a Kurt T connector vehicle wiring harness with a four pull flat trailer connector, part number C56051. On this 2008 Honda Civic, 